Hello there, this is Dango1867. Hope you're all feeling alright today because I am tickety boo. We've got a hybrid squad builder headed up by the infirm Jonathan Soriano. So let's get straight into it, guys. In the net, we've got Barbosa from Villarreal, the Argentine. He's very good, very cheap. Six foot three, so good at crosses as well, which is what you need on this FIFA. At the right back position, we have got Pereira, the Uruguayan international, playing at Porto now. Really good, solid stats all around. This guy could play anywhere on the pitch and do a job. He's got good passing, good defensive stats, good pace, solid. Lopez, a bargain basement Argentine from Benfica. Managed a goal for me as well. Great in the air, guys, and really solid. And for 350 coins, you cannot go wrong. Alongside him, Perea, an Argentine as well. He's not as tall as his compatriot, but what he does give you is good positional play, and he's got good distribution as well. Only 5'11", though, so if you want a six-foot defender, look elsewhere. Nacho, the pace hall left back that there is. Amazing, guys. If he gets sweated, he will catch them no matter how fast they are. That 90 pace is invaluable in defensive positions wide and he gets forward like an absolute rocket on the overlap too and Boulia, he is absolutely amazing one of my favorite central midfielders so far and another great player from Porto this year it's like he's like Vieira in a little miniature mold and half the price get him used guys absolute beast mode player to use Perez was the other central midfielder Again, his stats look amazing, but I, I never seem to get on with this guy. He should be amazing for me, but again, he, he got overshadowed. Maybe it's because Imbula is just that good and that OP that he looked pretty average. Bojan, I really enjoyed using Bojan. He's a very good link-up player, the Stoke man, uh, and that four-star skill moves comes in really handy. He did link up well with the forwards, and obviously Tello, the other Spanish FC Porto guy in this. Really good pace, good distribution. He's got a great finish on him as well. You can tell he can play striker because he, he finishes perfectly. Soriano doesn't have the pace, but his positional play is perfect. He's a real solid up-front target man, and he can finish with either his feet or his head, and I've done a player review, which obviously I'll link in the description. Munayen, absolutely amazing again this year. He's dirt cheap. You will not find a better left winger on the game for 350 coins. Get him tried out, guys. He's absolutely amazing. So we'll get straight on into the highlights. Here we are, a lovely deep ball coming in, and obviously well defended, but it's not going to stop us. The is going to get it back into the box, onto the outside. Munayen across, and look at Lopez, the center half, smashing the ball back into the back of the net. And here we have, obviously, cutting in Treo. Look at that for a finish. He's got absolutely amazing finishing, guys. You can tell this guy can play as a striker, and he's very, very good at getting those goals from the uh, wing. And here we are, Munayen coming in from the other corner and heading past the keeper. And here we are, Soriano doing what he does best. Lovely strength, holding off the defender. And here we are, hitting a peach of a free kick into the top of the net. Soriano, he may not be quick, but what he does give you is amazing finishing. I've been Dango, catch you all later.